cosine, sine, and the Pythagorean theorem. Yeah, they're related in a way. I'll show you how. If you missed video number 250, we're on 252, it basically, this is basically what we did so that you won't have to go back and look, because I know it could be a pain in the neck. We had a right triangle. This is the hypotenuse. This is the opposite side of angle A, because here's A, all right? This is the adjacent leg of A. And if B is, this is side B, this is side A, this is side C, uh, sine A is the 4 over the 5, this opposite over the hypotenuse, and sine B is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, okay? So it's 3 over 5, where this is 4 over 5, okay? That's what we were doing in 250. If you're still confused, go back and watch it. It's like a two or three minute video, maybe five minutes tops. It won't take a lot out of your life, and you'll understand what I'm talking about a little bit more. So, how does the Pythagorean theorem fit into this? Well, I'll show you. We can get the sine of angle A and the cosine of angle A. The cosine of angle A is, and I kind of copied it here so we didn't have to stretch so much. Cosine A is, see the theta mark there? Here's beta, here's gamma. The cosine theta is equal to B over C, okay? The adjacent one over the hypotenuse. In a right triangle, the cosine ratio of an acute angle is the ratio of the length of the adjacent side over the hypotenuse, okay? It's like sine B, see? It's equal to sine B. So, we can make two sine ratios and two cosine ratios using the acute angles in a right triangle, all right? So we'll use this one to kind of help us out. Sine A, sine theta, is equal to A over C, all right? This is side, if you look here, it's the red side over the green side, okay? A over C. Cosine A is B over C, the purple over the green, okay? Now this is for angle A, all right? This is what we're talking about. We're talking about for angle A. So that's the opposite for A. That's the adjacent for A, okay? Sine B, which is beta, which is this one up here, is B over C. And the cosine for beta is A over C. All right? Does that make sense? Do the colors help? Okay. Well, in a right triangle... The relationship between sine theta, right here, and cosine theta comes from the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So, if you square sine theta and you add the square of cosine theta, it'll equal 1. Okay, so theta is the measure of an acute angle of a right triangle. It, it just is representing the angle measure, okay? So that's why we're using that, okay? So let's look at this. The square of sine theta is A over C squared, and the square of cosine theta is B over C squared, all right? Together, you've got A squared over C plus B squared over C, which is saying the same thing as A squared plus B squared, right? Over C squared. That makes sense, right? Well, remember our little orange thing here. The Pythagorean theorem says a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Well, if a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then this up here equals c squared, doesn't it? See? It says a squared plus b squared equals that, c squared. So let's take away this a squared plus b squared and put c squared in its place, okay? Do you know what happens when you've got the identical thing on the top and the bottom of a fraction? It ends up equaling 1, doesn't it? So when we substitute the c squared for that, we get sine squared theta and cosine squared theta is c squared over c squared, which is 1. I hope that wasn't too confusing, and I hope the colors helped. Does that make any sense to you? I hope I explained it well enough. I know some of this stuff can get really confusing, but keep up the good work. Keep plugging away. You'll be all right. I'll see you next video.